Montreal's Best Restaurants 2015. This year, Montreal's Best New Restaurants for 2015 because we had too many restaurants. Majestic. Majestic is a crazy hipster wine bar where you go and have a lot of fun. And the best thing about Majestic is they have a hot dog this big and it's amazing. So you order the hot dog and you order a cocktail and you have a cocktail with a hot dog and you're surrounded by all this craziness and everybody is fun. And it's, um, it's a very exciting Montreal restaurant. It feels very much like Montreal today, this great mix of casual and yet the food is really good. Mercury Montreal Grill is the other side of Mercury Restaurant, which is a fine dining fancy restaurant. And Mercury is kind of more of everything done on a fireplace. Uh, the chef's name is Joey Mercury. He's very well known to Montrealers. And the best thing about Mercury is that you expect it to be all ribs and steak. And yet all of his starters are made with vegetables. And Joey Mercury is there by the fireplace making them himself. And they play great 80s music and you can have anything that's equally vegetarian or meat driven. Mimi La Nuit, Old Montreal cocktail bar, food, restaurant, it's kind of a mix of everything. The chef's name is Eloi Dion and he makes this fun bar food. French fries are a dish there. Um, French fries should be a dish everywhere if they're good and his are good. And then you have that with a mojito or one of their crazy cocktail concoctions. And there's a DJ and it's a little bit of a pickup bar maybe, but if you want that, that's great. And if you don't want that, just go and eat the food and have a great cocktail and you'll have a good time. Montreal Plaza uh, is the newest restaurant on the list, I think, because I only reviewed it a couple weeks ago. The two chefs in the kitchen are Charles-Antoine Crette, who was the chef de cuisine at Toquet, Cheryl Johnson, who was the sous chef. So the loss for Toquet is actually a great asset for us because there's a great new restaurant, wonderful ambiance. It feels like New York, um, really bustling place with very creative food and uh, a lot of vegetarian dishes, an affordable wine list and ambiance city. That's what it comes down to. Pizzeria number 900. There were so many pizzerias that opened this year, but what I liked about 900 is they mix up the toppings so you can get figs on your pizza, you'll get arugula pesto on your pizza, and they have a nice little wine list, and it's very small and very chic, and the crust is delicious, wood-fired pizza, Napolitana-style pizza. The problem is it kind of falls apart sometimes when it gets crowded and the service goes a little wonky, um, but otherwise, if you eat there in between the service hours, you'll love it. Tapas 24, I think I might have been the only critic who raved about this restaurant. There was a lot of hype and expectations coming around Tapas 24, which is the sister restaurant of the Barcelona original by the same name. Uh, so it's tapas, it's Spanish tapas with a great wine list. You can have sherry, you can have gin and tonics. Francois Chartier did the wine list. Um, and you get all these nice little plates of, you know, Spanish ham and kind of this Spanish style poutine. and. Yeah, it's really noisy and the service was a little crazy, but if you want to go out somewhere and feel like you're, you know, in Barcelona at 11 o'clock at night, go to Taps 24. Subois is this kind of crazy restaurant that when you go down there, the decor looks like a chalet of fashionistas and you, you eat in the basement and it's rare that you eat in the basement. And I thought it would all be looks and it's a supper club as well, but it turned out to be really, really good. It's owned by the same people who own the Les Enfants Terribles Empire and uh, the food is very colorful and it's very tasty. It's expensive. At night, it turns into a supper club. So if you don't want to dance on your table, eat early. There you go.